Hey, hey, trailblazers. So I wanted to pop in here and do a quick tutorial slash training on productivity because it's something that I love talking about and it's come up before and just recently one of our coaches was asking about it. So I realized that I wanted to share a couple tips real quick. Two tips actually. One is more tactical about how you actually plan your day and the other is more of what you do in order to plan, like to plan for the plan. So my advice is this, I stopped a long time ago trying to plan out my schedule like a fixed point, okay? And I think that's where a lot of us struggle because there are so many things that come up in your schedule day to day, it's hard to map out a plan that you stick to with your blocks of time for the long haul, right? Every day could be different. I know that as a single mom. And before I was a single mom running my business, I was able to be a little bit more projected and plan out kind of week to week. Now I plan day to day. So my first piece of advice is to plan your day the night before or even that morning, right? So it may not be the ideal, but I think it can really help your productivity. So you basically just look at your calendar, see what you have already locked into your schedule. So say, for example, you work nine to five. That's blocked. You know that that's happening. That's not going to change. Or let's say you have, you know, kids that need to be shuffled off different places. Like, you know, the times that that's going to happen. That's not a surprise, right? So everything that's not a surprise is already in your schedule. So you look at your schedule for the day, you see what's already plotted out, and then you schedule in your power hour around that. And then once you put that in, you got to hold yourself to it, right? That's the second piece. You have to be a little bit self-determined and saying, I'm blocking out this time. Now it's fixed. Now it's an appointment and I'm not moving that. So let's say you work nine to five, you know that. And then let's say you have a prior engagement from six to eight and you're looking at that day and you're going, well, I still have to get my workout in and I know that I want to work my business. So when do I fit that in? Well, you may want to say, okay, well, tomorrow I know I'm going to have to set that alarm for 5 a.m. And yeah, it's going to suck, but I'm going to suck it up because it's just one day. And then from 5.30 to 6.30, you're doing your power hour. Or from 5.30 to 6.30, you're doing your workout, right? And then you block your power hour because you're like, well, I'll be home by 8.30 and I can do 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. power hour. You see how that works? So it's not that you have to block out your whole week. Just plot it out the day before or the morning of. So that way, each day, you know that you're getting your stuff done. And that will add up. The second tip is how to actually plan your day. And I'm going to go into so much more detail on this in another call, but I freaking love this. My coach, Todd Durkin, turned me on to something called uh, No Brown Days by a gentleman, uh, his name is Wayne Cotton, and nobrowndays.com, you can go on that website. It's a freaking awesome way to manage your schedule. And he does a very detailed, complex system, but I've taken like the easiest part of it, so I'm just going to share my screen and quickly show you how you would plan your calendar. So basically what that means, no brown days, means that he has blocked out a calendar with four categories. Your green machine time, your red tape, your mellow yellow, and your blue sky. Okay, so it's four different categories. And then you color code them. So for us OCD types, this is freaking awesome. But even if you're not, if you're a procrastinator, this is so stellar. If you take your life and your business seriously, you need to be able to block your time and manage it. So those four blocks, I think, are just so simplified. And it doesn't get like all over the place with too many categories and it just gets weird. So if you look at my calendar here, Green Machine is basically... Your, your money generating time, right? So for me, as a coach, 
when I have green time, that's like I am, I am working with clients. I am creating content that has a dollar value on it. I am building our team. That's green machine time for me. So when I look at my day, I need to see that, that I have enough blocked out green time, right? And this is like my calendar, like for a week or so from now. So I know that this is already set stuff. Then your mellow yellow time. That's your time that you have to yourself. So I always block my workouts as mellow yellow. Or maybe I'm going to go get my nails done or a massage or I've got stuff planned with my kiddo. That's mellow yellow. You need to block that. You need to have that in your, in your day, in your week at least. Your red tape. Now, Wayne Cotton suggests that you should minimize your red tape time to less than two hours a week. And that's your administrative stuff, like paying bills, um, just, you know, that busy work that needs to get done and it's urgent, but like it shouldn't take up a whole day. And if you're organized about it and you've blocked it out. So I know Wednesdays at noon for me, for the most part, I can do my administrative work then. And I, I plan for that. So I pay all my bills. I look at tax stuff, whatever I need to do for the business administratively. Then there's blue sky time. This is what I strive as you can see to get more of. But what I know works well for me is I just block up a couple of days out of the month and I just dedicate the entire day to blue sky. Blue sky is your visionary time. It's your time to work on yourself and work on your business. Um, coming up with creative ideas, you know, plotting out what your vision is like, doing vision board work, uh, taking the personal development that you should be doing daily and kind of putting it together to grow yourself. It's it's your visionary experience. Love that time. It's super important. So those are the categories. And then what Wayne Cotton suggests is trying to not mush so much together. Like you can't do all four within an hour because then you get brown and brown means shit, right? So no brown days. And he suggests dedicating whole days to one color. I haven't gotten there. But I do make sure that I do have at least blocked out times, chunks of time where I'm doing like full green machine mode, and then maybe I'll turn it off and do mellow yellow for a couple of hours. Full visionary days that I have blocked out for the month. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, look it up, nobrowndays.com. It's awesome. I'll try to do another training, maybe a live Zoom on it. But um, yeah, respect your time. And it's going to work wonders for you. Hope this was helpful. I know some of you coaches were asking me about it. Peace out.